Okay, today we're going to talk about exercise. Um, lots of misconceptions on exercise. The one thing I'll tell you um, when we begin, as we begin here, is <clears throat> no matter what exercise you're doing, whether it's lifting weights, body weight stuff, Zumba, yoga, Pilates, um, P90X, Insanity, whatever you want to call it, CrossFit, no matter what, you better be doing it correctly. Um, the reason why people get hurt, um, injure themselves whatsoever, have problems um, in really injuring themselves is due to the fact that they're not doing their activities correctly. The squat, um, there's a way to do a proper squat. A lot of people do not. I've seen, I've been at uh, activities where there's gyms there and teaching classes and stuff and you know, you have people doing squats with their knees caving in when they go down. They're not going down far enough. They're not externally rotating their hips before and their knees out and they're weight on their heels. And there's lots of things people do wrong. Their push-ups are way out here when they're doing a push-up instead of in like you're supposed to be. Um, you know, and I'm going to talk in the show videos about, you know, how to properly do a squat, how to properly do a push-up, how to properly do all that stuff. But... The main thing you need to understand is if you've been hurt or injured in an exercise activity, it's probably because you were doing it incorrectly or you were trying to do too much or you were just weren't trained to be doing what you were doing. Now, having said that, um, I believe there are proper ways to do exercise. Um, and you can do them at your home. You can do them at a gym. Um, my, The best one, in my opinion, of doing, and I've been exercising for 20 years is <clears throat> um, CrossFit so CrossFit's great and it's going to change your life but you've got to commit and do it just like anything else you got to do what they say and get a good gym with good coaches and and uh, do things properly but if done it's the best program and the reason why is because most of the time the alternative is long um, duration slow sort of um, time taking activities, whether it's getting on a treadmill for 45 minutes, a stairmaster for 45 minutes, um, going and running five to 10 to 15 miles, um, getting on an elliptical machine for a long time. All that stuff is extremely taxing to the body and not necessarily in a good way. We know physiologically that the long long duration, slow activity, slow movement type stuff. Um, is it necessarily that good for the body? I mean, I've ran a marathon before. I've ran four or five half marathons. Um, it's not that those are bad in and of themselves, but doing them or doing that type of slow duration, long interval stuff is not that good for your body. The, if you want to look at a marathon runner versus a sprinter, um, the sprinter's a lot more lean, a lot more, you know, um, vascular, if you will. Uh, marathon runners can tend to become catabolic, people that run forever, long distances, bike forever. Um, that just be, just isn't very good for your body and how it functions. And we know it causes muscle wasting and, and a lot of taxation on the organs and the body, the kidneys. And so... You know, <clears throat> the definite reality is you need to be doing high intensity, um, short interval exercises. Now that could be as simple as 12 minutes a week. I mean, honestly, you could, if you're on the couch right now and you're just wanting to start exercising, you know, the best way to do it is to start doing what we call a Tabata, which is you get off, um, you start doing whatever it is. So it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. It could be burpees, it could be push-ups, it could be pull-ups, it could be squats, it could be sprinting, it could be running in place, high knees, um, mountain climbers, sit-ups, whatever you want it to be. It'll take you four minutes. You do 20 seconds on, 20, 10 seconds off for eight um, sets. Um, you do that for a couple weeks and you'd make it 30 seconds and 10 and then 45 seconds and 20 and you know you would just build that up to where you know, you might only be working out 20 minutes a day for that. It's called the metabolic conditioning, and it's extremely, extremely good for your body. It will help your body burn fat for 24 to 36 hours after you're done doing the exercise. 
um, massively important in, in physiological function and your heart strength and blood flow and kidney function, liver. It really, really helps all the, the parts of the body, brain um, improves dramatically through it. Um, so it's just a matter of you doing it and getting off the couch and starting to go and 20 seconds for you might be a lot um, harder or might be a lot slower than 20 seconds for me. It's just a matter of to the level you're gonna go, but it's all out for 20 seconds, 10 seconds break. And you would just do this for a period of time until your body is to the point where you can add more time and and more, you know, more different activities. Um, and that's basically what CrossFit surrounds itself about physiologically is this Metcon metabolic conditioning and this high intensity interval training. And it has to do with these types of stuff where it's sort of muscle confusion in your body is um, not getting used to one movement. Um, so that would be a major, major help for you. And just to get going, if you don't wanna to go to a gym, you can't afford it, or you wanna um, start just getting going, that would be what you do is do a Tabata every other day um, for a couple of weeks, and as you will add time, and as you can, you'd end up, end up going to CrossFit gym or, or to a Globo gym, and trying this stuff on your own but again the key is for you to move correctly if you're gonna start doing air squats you don't want to be caving your knees in you want everything to be externally rotated and tight when you're doing each of the movements um, and you just need to look up YouTube videos I'll make some of course about how to do them but you know the information's out there you just gotta find it um, and then just get going a matter of just moving and and starting and attempting to do all the stuff that you can to kind of get your body going. Exercise, you know, I say this all the time, we're all professional athletes. Um, and the fact that we gotta take care of ourselves and be there for our families and be able to work and be productive and um, just be good for society and it's a part of us is that's, you gotta exercise. And don't tell me you don't have time because four minutes a day every other day is not, not time. Um, that's just a matter of you doing it. Um, and don't tell me you can af can't afford it because you don't have to. You can go do burpees um, and squats and push-ups, and that doesn't cost you any money. It's just a matter of you getting going and um, starting and moving. And don't say you're too fat and you're too tired and you're too old. That's no, none of those are good excuses. You just got to get going. It's gonna, You're going to see your body change dramatically. Um, difference in how you feel and how everything goes with how you're functioning it's going to be phenomenal and I tr just trust me on this it's going to help you significantly but you just getting moving um, so start with the Tabata <clears throat> eventually you want to start getting into weight training um, there's massive benefit in lifting weights with you know and my, my, my concern would be you not to go do buys and tries and back and um, abs and legs and where you know you want to move in a functional manner um, in ways like cleans or clean and jerk these types of movements are very very good for your body overall function squats front squats deadlifting um, don't just sit in front of a mirror and do curls that doesn't do you any good or tricep extensions it's good accessory stuff but at the end of the day going and doing bicep curls and tricep extensions and leg curls and leg extensions aren't going to do you any good functionally and only may actually lead to injury because you're not moving in a capacity of which is functional of what you're going to go do when you pick up a kid or pick up a box or I can't tell you how many people come into my office that have hurt themselves from bending over um, picking up a box that weighed 10 pounds um, it's just their body went wasn't able to compensate anymore for the misalignments in their back and it went out um, because it just wasn't being moved properly and couldn't move properly. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm available to you at any time, Dr. Wayne Sissel at yahoo.com. Um, my suggestion is just to get going. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight sets every other day for two or three weeks. Um, start with burpees the first week, then do push-ups and do air squats. Um, and then just get going and let me know how you do. Thanks a lot.